Okay, so now we're to our close-up. We picked out our pipe cleaner, which is going to be purple this time. And I also have just purple ones that I'm working with. Uh, this is going to have to be probably a mom or dad thing actually doing the, the pantyhose in. We're going to make the, our halo. I've already attached the bottom part of the pipe cleaner. I'm going to attach the top part. And what you see I'm doing, when I'm twisting it together, I'm going across the other one so it lays flat as such. All right, so it makes that halo. I'm going to take it, hold it on the end of my fingers like this, and I'm going to stick it into the pantyhose, and I'm holding on to it while I'm doing it. Probably be a good idea to remove your rings if you have uh, rings that have edges on them. And so what I'm going to do now, as you can see that the pantyhose has the pipe cleaner in it, I'm simply going to take my other hand, grab a hold of the pipe cleaner and the pantyhose, release my hand, and you see what's happening is the pantyhose is getting much longer and that's what I want. So I've got pantyhose getting much longer. Then I've got my ring inside the pantyhose. The toe of it is here. Obviously, this would be the end of it where your foot and the leg went. I'm going to take that. I'm going to simply pull it together. My hands are together. My index fingers are meeting. And then I have this thing. Kind of looks like a cuff. And then we have a center. We look like we have big ears. And I'm simply going to take my excess pantyhose, take it, pull it tight, wrap it around tightly. So this is what I have. I have something here that looks like two big ears. Okay, you see what that is. I'm going to take my other pipe cleaner that at this point I have already got cut in half. I'm going to wrap it to the bottom, twisting it. Now older 4-H'ers can do this, but depending on the size of hands, uh, it might be easier for moms and dads to actually do that part of it. I would say a senior 4 h should have no problem doing this. However, uh, intermediates and juniors, mom and dad, you will have to do this part of it. Okay? And so this is what I have. Looks like two big ears. See that? At that point, I can take it and shape it and start to shape it. I'm going to fold it or lay it out flat. And so this one is a little bit flatter. Still looks like an ear, but a little bit flatter. Take this side, do the same with it. Kind of looks like a bow tie. Okay. And then at this point, I'm going to take my other one. I have legs going down and I want my antenna to come up and kind of towards the front. So I'm going to take it, mom and dad, you're still doing this, and you're thinking, well, what is my 4 h doing right now? Well, if they're young, they're watching, but their fun comes with helping the young people pick out what color of jewels to have. All right, so this is what I have. Ta-da! It's a butterfly. Okay? Some of them... The wings will go up like this. Some of them, the wings will go down. It's okay. It doesn't matter whichever way it goes, okay? So this is what I have. I'm going to take my scissors. I'm going to cut the excess off. I've cut off the excess. There it is right there. And then this point, again, this is where your young person comes back in and your 4 h -er, if you're younger uh, or smaller, they help them pick out what color of pipe cleaner they were going to have. And now they can also ask, which color of large jewel would you like? The family decides it with the child. And at that point, the 4 h -er would actually pick those up, put them down, you know, and hand them to the family or put them on uh, the trailer um, it has a little bar top area there. Put them on there, and they would allow them to do that. And so then, also at that point, uh, the 4 h can help them possibly design it if they wanted to. Usually the bigger jewels, I would say I would put up top. This is what I have. 
mom and dad uh, of the family take this off, help the young person decide where they want to place them. And as I say, sometimes it's mom and dad who do it because it's a family thing. Sometimes the young person will want to do it. You can see how exact I am on this. Not at all. Kind of looks like two eyes right now, okay? So if they want to do two eyes, they can do that. They can put the big one in the middle if they want to, and then put the little ones uh, at the bottom. It's all up to them on what they want to do. These are just simply peeling sticks. They can come off when it heats up, but we're figuring that uh, it's going to be pretty cool there that night. Not a problem. There's what you have at the end. You can see, I'm going to turn it around for you in just a minute. You can see right here, I have got excess uh, of that uh, pantyhose. It's okay. I've cut it off. And once I stick that in, my straw is basically going to go away and you're not going to see it. Formula antennas, where they actually look like, oh, they're interested in something, okay? So they're looking for something. Take your straw. Simply insert it in all the way down to the tip as such. So there's nothing that you can see at the bottom. So the legs are actually gone. And then you'll take it and simply staple it. Take it from the family again or they'll give it to you and staple it right there on the straw. And once you staple it, you're good to go and tell them to enjoy the rest of the fall festival and be sure to share where they made their butterfly. All right, thanks a lot.